Um, it's great to be here, great to be in Venice, great to be at Film Festival, and very, very moving to be so well received by. by uh, the one of the questions that one asks oneself when one's making a film that is based on the theatre is how can one how can one prevent it being boring? For some reason, and I don't know what it is, theatre films are always horribly boring. Um, one sits there yes. and one falls asleep. And the magic that happens in the theatre or in the opera doesn't work when you do a pictural representation because the pictural representation is flat. So from that, people have said, oh, well, maybe we should do 3D movies. But then what, why, would you, why would you bother going to all this trouble when you can just go to the theatre and have your experience? I get bored very easily at the theatre. I don't really like the theatre. I'm not. Um, in fact, I sleep. I have you a think Pavlovian. Theatre is have, not dead. I have a Pavlovian reflex when I go to the theatre, which is, you know, I'm sitting uncomfortably. It's hot, and I'm there. And if I get bored, I just fall asleep. And this is why I'm very happy to take long flights to Japan. Or, Costa Rica or somewhere because I get there and I sit in my easy jet or whatever charter and I sit I sit in this airline and I go oh I'm at the theater and I wake up and I'm in New York or in Havana or, and that's wonderful um, making a film about theater poses that question is how to create to recreate what is an immersive experience in a flat form and the approach that I had on the tightrope was to say okay I have to handle time differently normally when one's filming like you're doing now mm -hmm. one films with one camera then there will be a cutaway of my hands doing this then you'll go back and that allows you to do the editing and maybe what I'm saying now will come five minutes before what I'm going to say, um, what I said before. And that is the job that here I thought maybe to try and keep this immediacy, I have to slice time horizontally. I have to do a cross section, a cross cut, um, a time slice. And that was something that I decided to do by using, we had seven cameras on the shoot. Seven high definition, high end, best cameras one can get in a specially designed environment where they were hidden. And over two weeks, we filmed it to be able to give the illusion that this has all happened in one and a half hours. And so I'd say it's a little bit like using the principle of filming a football match. However, so you have all these different cameras yes. being mm -hmm. there and you feel you're in it. But the different full angles. match laughed, lasted for two hours. Uh, two, for, but not. the football match lasted for two weeks. Mm -hmm. And? So then we have all of this and we distill it, we concentrate it, we make it, we bring it to its essence in under 90 minutes. The, um, people talk about theatre being dead, um, people talk about films being dead, people talk about their relationships being dead. I think um, it's a little bit like a love affair. Uh, there's a moment when it works and one can't explain it and very often it doesn't. And one says, oh, I've met this person, we should be in love. It's this, everything is... All the elements are there, but it doesn't happen. Um, why? You know, who knows? With theatre, it's, it's very, very difficult. I think it's easier to make a bad film, probably, than it is to make okay theatre. Um, 
if one looks at cooking, you know, the, the, the theatre is perhaps more of the souffle, and all of these things have to come together at the right temperature. I'm giving her three seconds of pre-roll because I'm <laughs> a nice guy. <laughs> It's very interesting being in a film festival because one sees a lot of films from around the world and from different directors and different. And there's um, something that comes to mind, which I, which I, I, I really think applies very, very much to the film, to filmmaking. And it's a quote from Miles Davis. And Miles Davis said, "You know the difference between." an okay musician and a good musician is the good musician can play what he thinks. <laughs> but the difference between the good musician and the great musician is what he is thinking. <laughs> <laughs> and here in Venice I see directors like Kim ki Duk, who are here with their 18th film, um, Hermano Olmi, and these people, you realize there is a level, you try and get to the level of maybe being a craftsman. And then you just have to be a better human being, otherwise it doesn't go anywhere. And, and that I've really felt here in Venice is um, the human quality of most, but not all, but most of the directors here and the filmmakers is um, palpable. That's really palpable. something, yeah. You can and that makes me very proud to be here. But I'm just still, you know, we'll speak again about this in 40 years. Oh, 20 years. <laughs> <laughs>